हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट हाउ टू जज इंसियन लेंथ accurately and this is another video in the pattern recognition series and i'm sure it is going to improve your surgery few important things to remember to achieve good in cnr anterior chamber pressure should be optimum not too low not too high i should be in the primary position the blade should be adequately sharp you don't want blunt blades keep the blade perpendicular to the limbus and keep the blade parallel to the iris and not tilted now watch this case so i am using a 2.8 blade here and uh, making a perfect incision now let's think how am i exactly judging the length of the incision because we can't see any recognizable marks on this blade or i have not marked on the cornea as well so i try to decode how i am recognizing that pattern so i know that the length or diameter of the cornea is 11 mm half of that is 5.5 and one third of that is 1.8 mm and that is the length i want to achieve in my case i don't want it too short otherwise the iris will prolapse i would don't want it too long because maneuvering will be difficult and there will be hydration of the incision i want perfectly 1.5 to 1.8 mm length of the incision so now i am going to note the relation of pupillary margin with the end of that incision which i am you know seeking once i note that relation i am going to track the movement of the keratome according to the pupillary margin so that's what i am doing now so i didn't realize this when i was operating that how i was tracking but once i started decoding it i realized this is how i was recognizing the pattern and this is why i get more reproducible length of the incision let's have a look at another case here again the same pattern i am going to recognize here you can see the iris is placed little differently as compared to previous case you can see the half of the iris is the basically that's where the length of the incision is ending and that's what i am tracking now and as you can see i got it perfectly so this is the pattern you can recognize and it will make your surgery much much more reproducible do subscribe and share this video with your colleagues thank you